Let's go. Today we are driving to one of my favorite new developments or newer developments. It is Windridge Estates by Lombardo in Lyon Township. It actually has Northville schools, but it's in Lyon Township. And it is one of my favorite places. And you're about to check it out with me. Welcome to the Sequoia floor plan by Lombardo. This is actually the second version of this floor plan that they have built for this neighborhood. This is Windridge Estates in Lyon Township. It's located really close to Northville, Michigan. If you look it up on a map, it's going to show Northville, Michigan, but it's not. It's actually Lyon Township, but you have Northville schools. This is the first time I've ever been in this specific house and I'm excited to see it. I'm especially excited to see upstairs because there's something very special up there. So you gotta stick around and check that out with me. This is one of my favorite floor plans ever. You walk in the door, you've got an awesome sight line from the very front door all the way to the back. You've got your dining room over to the left and then you have an office area right over here to the right, which, I mean, this is much bigger than my office. I would love to have it. So coming around here, so you've got your front door over there. Right off to the side, we have a powder room. So right from the front door, it's not directly next to the kitchen or anything. It is sort of off to the side. And then we've got a big closet here too. I don't know, check that out. Big hall closet, nice area, sort of tucked away. It's not right in the middle where all your guests are. So then we come through here, and check out this living room. Check out this entire setup. From here all the way to there. The sight lines are amazing. That's one of my biggest things, is just having a nice sight line from one side of the house all the way to the other. I talked about it when we were at the very front door, just like I like being able to see all the way over here, and I love being able to see from the TV all the way to the island. I know it sounds crazy, but it's important. It's very important that you can see from one spot all the way to the other. So before I show you over there, I wanna show you this really quick because it's one of my favorite things about this house. You have this butler's pantry here, right? So you've got this whole nice area where you can prep all your food, your charcuterie board and all of that stuff. But then in here, right behind me is this. You've got a, a wine refrigerator. You've got all your bottles of wine and anything you could possibly wanna put. I mean, it's amazing. Right over here in the dining room. So we're back at the front of the house, but it's in a perfect spot. So it's not just stuck out in the middle of nowhere. The entire floor plan here makes sense and that's why I love it. Now, if you take a look up, you're gonna see all these beams. It's not a vaulted ceiling. It's not crazy high. It's not one of these 30 foot high ceilings that you see in some houses, but there's a reason for that and you're gonna see it as soon as we take a trip upstairs. What do you think about that light? I like that light. I like all these lights. Now that we're in the kitchen, we're gonna slide on over here into the flex room. So this is sort of a space where your kids can park their bags, do their homework, and you can sort of see what's going on. Because a lot of times, you know, the kids aren't really doing their homework. They're like playing video games or just looking at their phone. But if they're in here and you're out here, you know what they're doing. You know, well, hopefully you know what they're doing. Check out the size of this island. I love it. It's so big. Again, sight line. Over here we have the mud room. Everybody wants a mud room and a big pantry. The pantry is huge. Check out that cloak closet. So right here is going to be your garage. So these houses do have attached three car garages. They're big. So if you like this sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to make a move in the next three days or three years, reach out, I can help. And I can help you build a house too. I'm not actually gonna build it, but one of the builders that I work with can build it. So if you go to any of these homes, just mention me. Say that you saw my video. We'll, we'll help you out or just contact me. I would love to help you through the process. And these homes, if you're going to build a house, they require a construction mortgage. Most of them do. And I can help you with all that stuff too. I've got amazing lenders that can help you with that stuff. Information is gonna be all below.
If you're ever in a house and you're looking for the basement stairs, 9.99999% of the time, they're tucked in under the stairs that are going upstairs and there's no exception here. So right next to the upstairs or the stairs to go upstairs, we have the basement stairs. I love this, it's huge. So you have all this room to expand, to build, to do whatever you want to do in your basement. It is plumbed for another bathroom, so you could put a full bathroom down there. And we have an egress window over here. So an egress window just means another way to get out. An egress window has a little pit like that, and then a ladder to get out. Now we're gonna take a trip upstairs to see some of my favorite features of this house. You ready for it? All right, so first of all, we have a few bedrooms. Of course you're gonna have bedrooms in any house. This house has two bedrooms that are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is, I would say a must, especially if you have like two younger kids, just like have them share a bathroom, just one bathroom. And they have these walk-in closets here. So we slide through here, and this is not my favorite, my favorite feature of the house. We'll get to that in a minute. And there's a tub. So there is a bathtub here. A lot of people eliminate their tubs when they're remodeling, and I always say, don't do that. You want to leave a bathtub, especially for families with kids. You know, because like, they've gotta give them baths, kids. All right, so this is one of my favorite features of the house. You're gonna wanna stick around to see this master suite in a second, but this right here, you have this loft area. So it's like a bonus living room that's up here. Kids can sort of hang out, play video games. Mom and dad can hang out and play video games. Look outside, I mean, check out these windows. So before we go over here into the master suite, I'm gonna show you the princess suite right down the hallway. So this princess suite is pretty cool, especially because of this big walk-in closet. And then you have this attached bathroom. So this is the main bathroom for upstairs and it's right across from this laundry room. So it is an upstairs laundry. This bedroom is amazing. Take a look around inside this place. I love the use of the flooring everywhere. So you've got an engineered hardwood all over the place here. And then this bathroom. Ah, oh, this bathroom is so nice. You got dual sinks, dual vanities, and then the tub right in the middle. So it's like the centerpiece, but you don't miss out on having a shower. You do have a shower. Wait till you see this closet. It's amazing. So if you wanna build in here, there's actually four different floor plans that you can choose from. This is not the biggest floor plan, it's the step down, so it's almost the biggest, but not quite the biggest. And there's actually four different elevations that you can choose from. And what an elevation is, is it is how the outside of your house looks. So when you travel through a neighborhood and you see the same exact floor plan of a home, but it looks different on the outside, that's the elevation. So the different elevations are gonna cost different prices. So this house is about 4,000 square feet finished and it's four beds and three and a half baths. So it's big, it's not, like a, it's not like a tiny house by any stretch. This one is the prairie elevation. So you see it's more of a, a modern look to the outside. So it's a little bit different than a lot of the other ones in this subdivision, but you know, you can be the one. You could start building one. They actually just opened up phase two of these builds so you can get in on those. And those are actually located at the back of the sub. So if you wanna snag one of those, it's like very private back there. One of the coolest things about this neighborhood is it is in Lyon Township, like I said, but it is Northville Schools. So you pay lower Lyon Township taxes, but you have the benefit of having Northville Schools. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Northville. I love Northville and I love Northville Schools. I actually made a video about the top 10 school districts in the state of Michigan, and you should check that out here when you have a chance. Northville is on that list. But where, where is it on that list? You're gonna have to find out. The other cool thing about this neighborhood is it's located right by Mayberry State Park. And if you've watched my video about Northville and the reasons why you should move to Northville, you know that Mayberry State Park is an amazing place to do all sorts of things. So again, if you would like to build one of these homes 
anywhere in the state of Michigan, you can actually do that. They will build one of these on your lot. Or if you wanna build one here, reach out and let me know. Let me know no matter what, I'd love to help. If you're still looking for a place to call home in Michigan, check out some of these other videos and playlists on my channel, and I'll see you there.